Our Lieutenant thank Governor. You. Thank you. Um, thank you, Governor Inslee. Thank you for your leadership going back um, since the beginning of your first term on, on making our state a welcoming place uh, to everyone, particularly the most vulnerable. Um, this would have been my family. Uh, Twenty some years ago, my father, my parents both came here from Iran in the 70s. And 20 some years ago, my dad was still a permanent resident, green card holder. And for example, if he decided on a Friday, like yesterday, to drive up to Vancouver to visit friends, he wouldn't be able to come back and rejoin us. That's me. That's my family. Because he was born in Iran, even though he came here in 1970 to study at the University of Washington and worked as a civil engineer at Boeing until he passed away last year. That's my family. So I know what so many families are going through in this country right now, and I have relatives of my own who are green card holders, who are permanent residents, who have been in this country longer than I've been alive, and who fear and now cannot leave this country, even for business, even to visit ill relatives as close as in British Columbia. Governor Inslee is right. It's inhumane. It's barbaric. It's un-American. And it's the kind of behavior that we had committed decades ago to having learned was un-American. So I want to say three things. First of all, to, to those who are worried or fearful uh, in our state, the families of those, uh, I want to echo what Representative Jayapal had said and, and Representative Delbeni as well, that um, we are with you and we are keeping you in, in mind as I said, as though you were my own family, because some of you are. And my office, working with the Inslee administration, will be available, and we're going to put information out on how you can reach us directly. This is to the family members uh, to be put in contact with legal assistance and other services, and so that we can continue to provide whatever information comes to state government, working with local and federal officials as well to get you that information. We will be getting that and we'll, to all of you here in the media, we'll be distributing that and from my office and I'm sure from, from uh, other officials as well. Second thing is, this is not about national security. The statistics show that people from these countries, specifically these countries that have been targeted, have committed since 9-11 fewer crimes per capita than the general population, much less the immigrant population. This is not about national security, it's not about terrorism, it's about religious bigotry. And then finally, I want to echo what Governor Inslee said about economic development and business and the impact to our businesses here in Washington State. It's part of my role as Lieutenant Governor to worry about and think about and care about the economic impacts of policies and decisions like this. Just today, Brad Smith, executive at Microsoft, uh, pointed out that over 70, over 70 of their employees are personally affected by this, i.e. are the types of individuals who would not be able to return to this country were they overseas on business for Microsoft or were to go to Vancouver for the day. That's just one company. There are hundreds and hundreds of Washingtonians working here and traveling here for business and traveling abroad for business. This is hugely problematic for all of us. And I'll say this, for those who are not Middle Eastern American or Muslim American, bear in mind that other countries around the world have indicated that they might reciprocate and treat U.S. citizens who are dual nationals in a discriminatory fashion. So this has implications even for non-Muslim Americans and non-Middle Eastern Americans. It's extremely concerning. My office and the administration will be in touch with the people of this state through the media with information about how we can serve you. Thank you.